Welcome to Planet Wars, my entry for the EngComp 100 Programming Contest, Winter 2019. This presentation will showcase my program, briefly explain the core code, and highlight what I learned in its development. Planet Wars is a classic artillery-style game like Gorillas, but played in outer space. Gravity is no longer a uniform field pointing straight down, but instead a dynamic force between any two particles with mass. The code was developed entirely by myself, with help from the textbook and the MATLAB help forms. For a complete list of references, please see the attached text file, References. To start, we can choose a number of players, input names, and choose a color for each player. Let's start with three players for now. Now we can see the trajectory of the planets, each planet being a player. Each player gets a chance to shoot a projectile, then the world simulates for 100 seconds and the paths are displayed. I keep the figure window docked to prevent it from disappearing when I type. Any two projectiles which collide are both eliminated, except for the sun which cannot be destroyed. The last player remaining wins the game. At its core, my code is actually quite simple. This core is a loop which computes acceleration and advances time. Acceleration is calculated cumulatively, in terms of components caused by neighboring particles. This calculation is repeated for every particle which experiences acceleration. The second function translates velocity into a change in position and acceleration into a change in velocity. This completes one interval of simulation, which can be lengthened for faster yet less precise simulation, or shortened for slower and more precise simulation. Since my program is a game, it doesn't need to be precise, so long as the trajectories look about right. Now let's take a look at the history of my code. The first part was really just a lot of testing, trying different things to see what would actually work and whether or not my endeavor was actually possible. Finishing the code I showed earlier was a significant milestone in this project. At this point, I could indeed model planetary orbits using gravity with any number of planets. Next, I had to take my barebones physics engine and add all the bells and whistles of a proper game. This was done by adding functions to the existing code. One function to delete a planet if anything hits it, another to choose colors, so on and so forth. To be a proper game, it should be fun. The last part of development was to fine tune the settings. Speed, size, and mass of the planets all affect the way the game plays. Now I'd like to share some key things that I learned in this program's development. The first lesson was the use of modular code, functions you can shift around, add and remove as needed. This code, for example, simulates the world for a specified amount of time. Instead of writing all this every time I need to simulate, I condensed it into a function. Now I can insert that entire block of code into a single line. As you can see, I've used it twice. Before the game starts, it simulates for 10 seconds, and each time a player fires, it simulates for 100 seconds. A lesson I learned the hard way was version control, making regular backups before any major changes. Version 3 was the first script with the core code I described earlier, fully finished. But gravity was weird and didn't actually behave right. In trying to fix it, I broke my running code and actually moved backwards in development. After a lot of work, I was back on track and made sure to make regular backups. Sometimes it's a good idea to figuratively step back from your code and really examine if you have an optimal solution or room for improvement. Earlier, we saw the formulas on the left used to compute components of acceleration. However, arctangent is ambiguous and needs extra code surrounding it. The solution on the right eliminates angles entirely, makes for much cleaner code, and ultimately decreases computation time. In conclusion, this contest helped me learn more about programming and build something I enjoyed working on instead of what the course mandated. I learned how to manage a long-term project over a busy schedule. If you are at all interested in programming, I highly recommend you participate in this contest. It was an extremely rewarding experience worth every second I put into it.